What's up guys, we are back with some more Pokemon Sword and we just got done taking down Raikon and some other gym challenge uh, gym leaders in the process and now we're about to go start our final battle uh, in the gym uh, Champion Cup, to not Gym Cup, Champion Cup. So here's our team, we got Corviknight here. I think I'm still gonna start off with Corviknight just cause I don't know what to really expect out of uh, Leon for his team. And yeah, so we're gonna do this thing. Hopefully we don't get murked. It's gonna be pretty embarrassing to get our butt kicked the first time out here to face Leon, but it is gonna be good to see his team. I know he'll have Cinder Ace and Charizard on the team, but as far as his other four Pokemon, I'm not sure. Or even if he has six, it might just be three other Pokemon. The tents still air on the pitch, in the exact opposite from the audience, cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose after all. It can fill you with fear knowing that, but I absolutely love pushing past the fear. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer and seeing my team give everything they've got to seize another victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching in anticipation inside their Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Gather Regions champion, Leon. Me and Charizard and all the rest of our team will use all our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Look, at the monitor. What is on that big screen? Oh, come on. Don't tell me we don't get even battling. Hello, hello there, Leon and Blaze. Just letting you know. I think it's time I brought about the darkest day for the sake of Gyler's future, of course. But I'm in a bit of a pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain. Wait, what? I'm sorry it comes to this, but it's you who forced my hand, Leon. You refuse to listen. Great, now we can't even fight him. I was all prepared, too. Lee, Blades. That video stream, that was from Hammerlock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't know, but everything he was saying yesterday, did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some problem a thousand years in the future? I got to go see what's going on. I'm the champion. I have to go. I should have realized what the chairman intended to do before it came to this. I'll take responsibility now for fixing this mess. This is the real champion time. Dang, I was all hyped up for this final battle. But Lee, you're terrible at directions. What if you get lost along the way? I guess we're just gonna have to go, bro. I want to help my brother, Blades. I've got to. But I can't even manage to beat you, so what sort of help could I ever be? You can help, bro. Easy for you to say. Hold the phone. The chairman was talking about the darkest day. That's that thing where the sky went all dark once ages and ages ago, right? What does he mean? He's bringing that about? And where did he even hear that name? That statue of the hero on Motostoke. Sonya says something back then, didn't she? Though it turned out to be wrong since there was actually two heroes and all that. Still, those two managed to bring an end to the darkest day with the sword and shield Pokemon. Sonya thought the Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere though, right? We should try to find them, Blaze, but where to start looking? That's it, Blades. It's, I'm sure it's got something to do with the slumbering wield. The illusion you tried to fight off that day, it must have been one of the Pokemon that are supposed to be sleeping there. Let's go back to the slumbering wield. If we're lucky, we'll find something that can help. Alrighty, so we're gonna head back home to the slumbering wield where we initially encountered the legendary Pokemon. I think it's Zacian? Zacian? I don't know, I gotta remember to look at the name. Huh? huh? Blades and Hop? I completely forgot about the championship match. What are you doing here? Haven't you been watching the news at all? The tournament is off, Sonya. The chairman saw to that, and to send the entire region to a state of havoc. Huh? What? What happened while I was researching things in the slumbering wield? Well, for starters, there's a great black storm or something raging over Hammerlock Stadium. What are they calling it? The Darkest Day? It's thrown everything into disarray. Still, I'm not sure. I'm sure we don't need to worry too much. The unbeatable champion will be there to take care of everything, won't he? 
Hold on a tick, ma'am. Did you say the darkest day? The darkest day is the name for the black storm that nearly brought the Gala region to ruin in ancient times. So, what are you here for, Blades? I suppose the legends are true, and the sword and shield Pokemon should be able to prevent the darkest day from coming to pass. They may be just what we need to beat back the black storm. Okay, here, take this. Shed into the slumbering world. I'll catch up to you once I'm done looking into something that's been bothering me. Okay. Max revives. Why are you smiling? This is dangerous, Mom. All that matters is that you do what you can. You've become a fine Pokemon trainer after all. Ready for this, Blades? I wonder if we're about to head straight into a wall of fog again. Not that it bothers us now. We've both grown loads stronger and so have our Pokemon. Going to that forest after Wulu that day. That was the start of everything, wasn't it? Wasn't it? A legendary beginning. Really. I reckon whatever we're about to see will be pretty legendary itself. Let's head in and add another page to our tale. You said it, bro. Don't touch me. We don't touch me. <laughs> Kind of thinking about that starter type up or the legendary st uh, matchup. I was struggling there, trying to <laughs> move the item. <laughs> oh, new Pokemon! <laughs> For what level? A Mooner. Ah, 47. Yeah, get out of here. Honestly, I think it's now going to be Corviknight that gets replaced. I don't really use Corviknight like that. Ah, it's a Galarian uh, Weezing. So, this is where you can get the map. Wasn't really expecting that. But now my typing map is kind of off because this is what's still poison now? Oh, wait, no, I think they made it fairy. Still fairy or something like that. But it's a sweet for toxicity. I don't know, I'm really glad I have Toxtricity on the team. It's just a matter of where we're going in here, you know? I also want to just like, find all the items in here too, because I don't know when I'll be back in here. I don't know what that was, I just passed up. Oh, it was a stun fist. What's with the fog? It's even worse than the first time we came here. Is it though? Oh, now it is. <laughs> ah. Oh, wow. It's both legendaries. I'm not gonna lie, the shield legendary looks pretty cool. They really are here. The sword and the shield Pokemon. I knew it. Whoop. Okay. Hey, where are you going? We need your help over here. You two, what in the world are you doing? What? Come off it, Sonny. You must have seen that, right? Those, those sword and shield Pokemon, they were right in front of us. But then they disappeared into the forest. Pop, you sure you haven't lost the plot? There was no one here but the two of you. What? Then were those just illusions or something? Listen, I dug into some li literature from other regions and I finally found something. Mentions of the sword Pokemon Zacian and the shield Pokemon Zamazenta. Zamazenta. The writing said that those two Pokemon were born somewhere beyond the slumber world sometime long ago. Did they really? Huh. Sonia, thanks for digging into it. Even if it's just an illusion or whatever. 
We did manage to find that Pokemon again. Maybe the sword and the shield that j those two used to carry are still here too. So are we just looking for like the artifact weapons, basically? Okay, cutscene. I'm all for it. Oh, this looks nice over here. It's nice and peaceful. I don't know why I feel like I should see like a Celebi, Latios, Latios like come out of nowhere over here. I just feel like that'd be very fitting. Would you take a look at that, Blaze? Now that's something you don't see every day. This place definitely feels like this of legend. So, is... Hop gonna get the shield and then I get the sword and that's how we both kind of like pick a legendary okay that doesn't look like a legendary sword and that doesn't look like a legendary shield <laughs> but it looks like the shield like supposed to fit or something see that blades the sword and the shield the legends really were true <laughs> wow, <laughs> you obtained a rusted sword. <laughs> it is said that a hero used this sword to halt a terrible disaster in ancient time, but it's grown rusty and worn. That settles it, I'm taking the shield. Though, wow, would you look at the state of this thing? It seems like it might fall to pieces if you so much as look at it funny. I don't know if these rusty old things will really be able to stop the darkest day, but, well, I guess it can't hurt to have them along. Let's hope they bring us some good luck. And we're the two heroes. Maybe the Pokemon themselves really are still asleep somewhere. So it seems we're on our own if we want to go help lead. This is all the help we've got. I mean, can I fly from here? Modus, uh, there we go. Okay, we can't fly there from here. So maybe we do need to have like a, a cutscene or something occur. Or maybe I just have to get out of here in general. Dang, I don't know why I was expecting that to, to be a way out. Oh, they got Corbinites here too. Oh man, I don't want to fight you guys. Oh, or a beetle. The bug fighting type. Oh, I wasn't expecting it for a pit. Or beetles have tons and tons and tons of defense and special defense, I believe. It's a really tanky bug type Pokemon. I really just don't want to fight the, the weak Pokemon, like the level 2s and stuff, that's that's just brutal and embarrassing that I'd have to like run away from them. But there's a blip bug. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I don't have a blip bug yet, and I think I wanted a blip bug just to evolve it and see its evolutions. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna go I'll catch a blip bug another time. <laughs> At least I know I can catch one over there. Oh, that's awkward. All right, now that we're out here, then that means we can fly now, I believe. Unless they really plan on making me ride my bike all the way there. Okay, there's Raihan.
Well, if it isn't Blades and Hop, it's a real shame the way things have turned out. You make it all the way to the Champion's match, and then something like this has to happen? And Shamrock Rose, thinking that the energy pouring from the darkest day would somehow be the key to saving Gala's future, it all seems a bit mad if you ask me. I can't follow at all how that's supposed to work. Well, I don't care if I'm up against the darkest day or the chairman or whatever. I'm going ahead. I'm off to help my brother. Okay, bro. And he's gone. That hop never changes, huh? Always in a rush something, isn't he? The key thing is that no one's been harmed. We gym leaders work together in this city's Pokemon, and we got everyone evacuated. And you, you're fixing to help our champion to save everyone in the Gala region. Yep. Our greatest ever champion and the greatest ever challenger, along with his fiercest rival. All teaming up against the darkest day. I almost feel sorry for it. Go on then, our great challenger into Hammerlock Stadium with you. Sir, yes, sir. Oh. Miss Alina. G Gym challenge, you must help me. I mean, please help me. My Pokemon suddenly dynamaxed for some reason and started running amok in the stadium. Raihan, I mean, Mr. Raihan was able to subdue the Dynamax Pokemon in the stadium, but if other Pokemon also Dynamax and go on a rampage, the underground power plant would collapse. Mr. Rose is down there right now. I know this is selfish of me, but I must beg your assistance. I want you to head into the underground power plant and stop Mr. Rose. Mr. Rose has awakened a Pokemon known as Eternatus. Eternatus? Apparently the energy emitted from its body is what's causing Dynamaxing. At this rate, all the Pokemon in the Gala region will Dynamax and go berserk. If that were to happen, please, you must save Mr. Rose. You can take the lift over here to reach him. I've enlisted the help of the champion's younger brother too, but who knows what is going on. Oh man, I'd better hurry down there then. Energy plant. Yeah, this looks pretty dope. I don't even know what that Pokemon's typing is going to be, so I guess it's safe to be out here with Toxtricity. What? What is all this? We need to help Lee. Yeah, it looks like a giant egg hatched here. Are we about to battle the chairman? And what do you plan on doing, Shim Challenger? Helping the champion? I'm afraid I can't allow that. The champion is the one who needs to control Eternatus. Must I explain myself? From your perspective, I suppose it must seem that I am doing something terrible. I don't expect you to understand, but I must provide the Gala region with limitless energy to ensure everlasting prosperity. It is my purpose, my duty, my destiny. That's why we've been giving the wishing stars to Eternatus. Surely you remember the red light that caused a ruckus around Hammerlock? That was all part of our experiments to awaken Eternatus. You must understand, I can't let you interfere with my plan to protect the future of the Gala region. Oh boy. This music though. Woo! <laughs> Macro Cosmos Rose. Let's go, bro. Oh, snap. And it's nicely leveled, like around. Oh man. Whoop. Well, that happened. It was a horrible idea starting off with him. <laughs> uh. I don't know why I'm doing this. He just used a ground type move, I think. <laughs> And I definitely am just setting myself up now. He's a steel type user. That's what he is, steel type. You're pretty tough, yes, entirely too tough. Don't you think that's unfair? This is a times four as well. But if he is just a steel type user, then I'm kind of in trouble here because Colossal is like my only real go to to handle steel.
I don't know why I question what type he used if all the other people were using steel type Pokemon. Oh, wow, that hurt a lot. And that's gonna hurt too. Okay. I'm really digging the music though. I don't want to touch him, to be honest. Wow, you couldn't just finish him off, bro. Yeah, I think the slower you are, the more powerful that move is. Now I wish I had my Dragon Ghost Pokemon. <laughs> I can't really use Corviknight in this battle. Oh no, maybe if I start off with Colossal, the battle wouldn't be this bad. We're just gonna use Surf because Hydro Pump misses too much with my loading. I think I've missed like two or three times with Hydro Pump. So I think Surf is a better bet. Throat Chop. Wait, what? <laughs> there's a move that can make... There's an attack move that when you get hit in the throat, it makes your Pokemon fall asleep. Because in real life, if you get hit hard enough, I think uh, you can fall asleep. <laughs> About to go to sleep. Um, I think my best bet is Rillaboom right now. Alrighty. Um, I don't remember if. He can avoid ground moves. Okay, I'm definitely gonna use like the full restore next turn. Cause there's no way I'm gonna outspeed it. And I need my my Rillaboom out there. Or I'll just use a max potion. This resident stats, I think. He really wants to hurt me. You know what? I'm not even mad at his team. He kind of reminds me of... Uh... He reminds me of Steven from... From Gen 3. How are you just going to get crits like that, though? That's offensive. Raja's just a steel type. We can send my Lodic out again. Uh oh, down to my last Pokemon. Hmm, this isn't looking too good. Yep, yeah, but if you're gonna Dynamax, bro. I gotta, I gotta use my strong water moves on you. Oh, look at that. Our health is looking all nice. I'll show you a move that'll hit so hard you'll be speechless. Well, they better not be a still move, bro, because... Steel doesn't do that much to water. Wait, wait a minute. Yo. 
Why does that look so beast? Okay, good. Maybe my move will do more damage. Um, oh, you know, ground move? Okay. And it was funny because when I first saw Qfin, I was like, oh, I want Qfin. And now I know what it evolves into um, from like maybe 10 episodes back. And then I kind of was like, yeah, no, I don't want one anymore. That's fine. It's kind of interesting that he knows a move like that. I think that was... I think that was a psychic type move. Okay, I'd forgotten how great Pokemon battles are. It's been so long since I battled, that sure was satisfying. Most impressive, Blades. I wouldn't expect any less from a challenger endorsed by the strongest champion ever to grace our beloved Gala region. I really do wish I could have seen the championship match between you two, and I'm truly sorry to have ruined the whole gym challenge and everything. It's too bad, but it can't be helped. In order to solve this energy issue, as soon as possible, we awaken Eternatus. But we couldn't control it. The champion came to aid me, even at the cost of abandoning the match. Indeed, just like a knight in shining armor coming to rescue a princess from a dragon. I do tend to ramble on, I know. I love to make speeches, but I think I can stop talking now. I think the champion should have captured Eternatus by now. If you're curious, you can take the lift up. And I trust you'll be going too, right, Hop? I certainly hope losing to me didn't discourage you too much. Go on now, both of you. Go see how our champion is doing. Discourage? You don't get it, do you, Chairman? Neither me nor my Pokemon are anywhere near giving up. We've learned how to be strong thanks to the gen challenge you organized. Ooh wee man. He wrecked my team. He was putting in that work. But guys, I'm going to end this episode off here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the channel a lot. Or, poop, set that back. It helps out the video a lot. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, it helps out the channel a lot too. But with that said, guys, stay sharp. Later.